Hello everyone, today we are presenting the new instrument from the Extreme series by Auto Expression, the Extreme Harp. For those who know Extreme Piano, this new instrument follows the same philosophy of expanding the possibilities of the original sound that comes from the acoustic instrument. And now, one of my favorites, we have the harp. This is a contact instrument library that was designed in a way to invite you, invite your creativity. To go to places it has never been with this very well-known instrument, people usually always write the same lines in the same scenario in the same way. And it becomes quite of a cliche of the instrument that can also be very rich and very powerful. And we are here to make sure you can see that with endless possibilities that this library offers. A very special feature in this library is the sound of the arpeggiator and pulses a very useful tool for composers and arrangers, as well as producers. The Extreme Harp brings a new way of seeing this instrument. And I'm very excited to walk you through this contact library, the Extreme Harp. And as I mentioned before, this is a great example of an arpeggiator preset that we can easily open and instantly have a rhythmic sound. We use the same sound while reducing the filter. We'll also have a very nice pulse effect. It can even have a little more distortion to it. You see what I mean? We can definitely hear that nasty, dirty tone to it. And this is why it's one of my favorites. Here, we have a completely different configuration. It's more intimate. It's closer to the organic harp sound. It does remind us of the harp. You see, the idea behind the instrument, it is to blend both, but to bring a completely new approach to the instrument. And if we slow down a little bit the attack, we are going somewhere different. Maybe the reverb as well to create more ambience. Oh. I feel we are telling a different story now. It doesn't feel like it was the same preset than before. And then we go into this journey of expanding all the possibilities. <laughs> I bet that none of you could imagine a harp making this sound. As I said on the presentation, we are trying to cover all the categories of sounds that can be used in any composition. Sound effects is one of those. This sound really represents that. It can be used as a very useful tool for any type of texture you want. 
or whatever you're working on. It's one of those sounds that we spend hours trying to find. And now we can easily have it. And the bonus thing is that it contains a beautiful instrument, the harp. Imagine what would happen if you could turn a harp into a church organ. This is one of the several extreme effects that we find in this library. This is an example of a not unexpected sound from the harp. This is in the preset that sounds like a whistle. And with all our modulation options, we can transform and change into new ideas. Here, I'm gonna change the filter now, and you will see the results we're gonna get. And, as I said, we can easily assign to any CC command on a MIDI keyboard to control anything in the instrument. As I'm doing right now, I'm, I assign the distortion fader to my MIDI fader here. All of that, just to achieve a different sound result in such an easy and fast way. Now this is one of my favorites and it's a it's just a pad sound. And you see it's another surprisingly good sound for a harp. You know, let's see what happens when we dial in with different parameters. I love how we start soft and we can build up and get aggressive. You see it's perfect for movie scores that need that tension. It has the suspense. And then we can keep building it up. And building it up. We can achieve that with just one touch, basically. As you can see, it's very easy to take a simple sound and take it to a whole new level, to a whole new atmosphere. And in every harp, there is always the plucking sound. The sound it makes when the player plucks the strings. And of course, we needed to provide that to you. But with our extreme touch to it. This is one of the sounds that we consider very useful for any type of scenario. It can easily be a very good background instrument. As well as definitely something that we can expand and find other different ways to tell the stories we need to tell.
and finishing the Extreme Harp walkthrough, we present a very useful arpeggiator. You can see that I only play in octaves a few notes, but it gives to the listener that there's a lot more going on. And that's the whole idea of the Extreme Harp. It's easy to play, but a very powerful experience for anyone.